Content warning for language. This was initially a two hour 57 minute session. However, after cutting out a lot of fat, I was left with two hours and I realized there's probably a lot more to go. That's probably gonna end up just shrinking this down. So I uh, take it as it is, there may be some useless crap in there, but enjoy. Okay. One of, uh, one of, oh, I go, sorry, Mike. Sorry, no worries. Uh, where we left off as best my foggy <laughs> memory <laughs> can recall. I died. Pa the the party encountered three dire wolves and the battle was decidedly going against the group. And situation was dire, yo. Very. Oh, Thanks for here all night. Draken fell, succumbed to his wounds, and collapsed on the ground, only to be spared from death by Bernadette. And Thetsu realized that. I was already told. Don't think it was me that realized this, Matt. Well, uh, you threw the animal handling up there. Oh, fuck. Um, Shows you how drunk that... I was. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we all were, so, you know, it's kind of filling in the blanks. Um, that the dire wolves, um, <clears throat> although they, they can rip the party to shreds, uh, they were kind of hurting the group <laughs> towards something. Now, Draken, Shovel. you are still at zero hit points. I thought it was at one. Uh, did anybody give you any healing? I uh, don't Bernadette, believe anyone. But that you spare the dying to stabilize him. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I would have been at two. Le no, you'd be at, at zero. You'd be at zero, but you'd be unconscious, not making death saves. No, yes. okay. Yep. So, Draken, you're. Your eyes are closed. You are in incredible pain. You cannot seem to regain any sort of consciousness. That sounds like but, a daily day for me. Yeah, you do not have to make a death saving throw, but me. at this point, you really do bring nothing to the table except you're going to lie there in your own pool of piss and blood. Sounds like a normal day for uh -huh. Ratio. <laughs> it's gonna lie there uh, and do nothing, just like Cody IRL make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Facts. Uh, Kados, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, well, I'm just gonna next burn and that, and just move over here and ready to help. Very good. Uh, <clears throat> you're gonna love this part. Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh huh. This makes shit. All the girls stop your feet like this. Uh -huh. Oh no, no. <laughs> no, no one of them. Not, not him. Oh, is that a drone no, no, mage? That shit. Oh, Can please don't tell me that's a drone mage. Oh no, that's. That's worse than. That's worse than you think. Fucking <laughs> what? Sorry? A, a, a what? <laughs> you don't oh, see Oh, my I friends. I can't see Welcome. Anything. Welcome, please. Don't allow my furry friends to scare you off. Now is not the time of your demise. Please. <coughs> Enter my domain. Make yourselves at home. I look forward to meeting with you in the near future. And he stares down at the unconscious form of Draken, licks his lips, bears his fangs, and goes, Oh, that would just be too easy to turn you into my spawn. This early, arise, fool. Perhaps bigger things await you. And Draken, with a gasp, your eyeballs fly open. And you, 
You have one hit point. What the fuck are you? Ah, friends. I am your humble host, the lord of this land. We will meet formally sometime in the future. Just remember. Always pressure to Stick to the road. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't go wandering off into places that perhaps you shouldn't. My pets will be here to make sure that you <clears throat> play by the rules. Come, my pretties. Let us be on our way. And with that... He winks out of sight, taking his di his pack of pets with him. Is that fucking Dracula? And this I have no will idea. end combat. I was going to say this is how uh, this is the end of the session. See you next week. <laughs> Right, see you guys. See ya. Right, bye guys. Love yous. <laughs> uh, egg. Did you just say egg? Egg. Egg. And all of that, look at Draken. And I'll look mm. up and... A friend of yours? Mm-mm. Oh, um, uh, let me, uh, out of character, or, uh, table talk, if you will. Um, Bernadette's not going to be here. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to have her wink out, or are we going to go with avoid. someone's going to play someone else's character if they can't make it? I, I can play cleric, as I'm already playing a cleric in our games. Like, I can, I can have Bernadette do the, the nod, smile, and thumbs up, and fight if need be. You know, mm. all right. She's just there as a background character until shit kicks off, and then she's just like, shrug, smile, mace. Mm. Healing word, mace, fireball. <laughs> it's a cleric. What type of cleric what? do you know that knows fireball? Scottish is just a, like, haha, now that I control Bernadette, I can set up my head cannon. <laughs> 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 Waved. All right. So... I would never do that. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not desperate. Um, Benedict, comes, Benedict comes back. Oh, yeah, so, uh, Scottish, uh, married your character? Yeah. Who? Uh, yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't forget to wipe your chin. Um, so, <laughs> Matt, you should have access to Bernadette's character. I do indeed. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, very good. Very nice. What good. The fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind behind you. Jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Two headless statues of armed guards, or excuse me, armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. Sir, welcoming? Has anyone seen this place before? Mm, not at all. No, not at all. Oh, it's a nice little place. What's with the big fucking statues? I can't say. Should we end 
Victor. Well, uh, well, judging from the fact that that mist has just followed the road behind us, I would say yes. Yeah. I mean, if we turn around that fog, she's gonna consume us. So, and that's some thick mist. We ain't good. We're not gonna get through that. No. Uh, the gypsy woman says, "A town called Barovia was next here." And I do, I, I do believe that was the uh, name. Yes. You spoke to a gypsy. We were. All in the same caravan. Oh, that fucking thing, yeah. Mm, you're not very perceptive. That's okay. We can mm, uh, make up for that. Uh, maybe, just up, maybe this town has a world map that we could use. <coughs> Let's, uh... A peal of thunder and the sounds of massive gates creaking open. The giant iron gate slowly creaks open to welcome the party to enter the land of Barovia. Okay, that isn't creepy whatsoever. Please, my friend, you were so gung ho by bar means. You go first, and I will point to Draken. Yeah, yes, I, I agree. You should go first. Why me? You exude confidence, and you're so full of yourself. Anything that comes through there, surely you can handle. I mean, I've just been slapped a bit with two big dogs. I'm not going through that first. No, 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 we, ins we insist, we you insist. Were, you were so full of yourself when the dogs you're, came. You're clearly, you're clearly uh, the best qualified out of us there all. There is clearly a second chance about that gate for you. Fuck it. <laughs> it's not bullying, it's character building. Yes. <laughs> Something you clearly need. I just turn around and shout to you guys, fucking move then. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens first. You Keep going, keep going. Draken steps through the gates and is swallowed up by the darkness, as is Thetsu, Selkath, Bernadette, and Kados. This makes it, it really is easy. Just thank, thank you very much. That's I, think the, I think the Selkath tokens changed again. I remember it being, it's another one on the other page. And then that's oh, the know, one that was before. Everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic. Do you yes. know I love you? It's okay. <laughs> I swear there's one missing. Yeah, Bernadette. No, she's... No, Bernadette. I'm playing her. All right. The token you missing. Mean, you mean the fact the dragon just disappeared? Should I have access to this token over here? You should. Okay. Should I you only should. be able to see the token? You should. Okay. So, for everybody that is... Well, everybody is on the new map. If you scroll to the far right and about halfway down. It took over 32 minutes to resolve this. It's fine. All right. One of these things. Uh, <clears throat> Towering trees whose tops are lost in heavy gray mist block, all, block out all but a death gray light. The tree trunks are unnaturally close to one another, and the woods have the silence of a forgotten grave, yet exude the feeling of an unvoiced scream. Uh, it's impressive, but should we just follow the road? All right, so Matt, I'm going to have you take the lead token, and if everybody could just, yes, follow along. 
At the end, there you I'm go. going to reach each one of ours becomes a freak. That, yes, yes, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful friends. Not there, not there. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Stick to the road. Step off, <laughs> step off the road. Yeah, get out in front. See what that gets you. Um, oh, wait. Oh, they're behind me. Okay. A half an hour passes. The sounds of ravens bay in the background. You guys, I will warn. I will warn you guys right now. You start exploring a map like this, and I'm going to let whatever the fuck pops out pop out. <laughs> so zip around the map at your own fucking peril. Uh, um, can I get a perception check? From everyone, please. Yeah. It can we do? Well, on, on, on the party token or on our actual characters? Oh, on your actual, actual character. Character. Sorry, give me a second, then open it. I'll also grab Bernadette's. Uh, we'll just say that she's constantly with me in that. That is a sexy perception right there from myself. Okay. Uh, that other one, the 16, comes from uh, Bernadette. Bernadette. Okay. You can... Ignore the persuasion. I will. Um, Persuaded the whale on that one. Yes. I persuade a tree to be a tree. <laughs> it's, its leaves flutter gently upon the breeze. You've charmed a tree, you little silver-tongued devil, you. I don't know how that works. <laughs> you little rascal. You Fucking little druids. Rascal. <laughs> Watch out for the poison ivy, though. You catch the scent of death on the air. Hi. Coming from the south. Fuck, it sounds smells like shit in here. You sure that's not just your upper lip? I think that's just the same. No. I think it's Dragon Boy's not washed yet. Nah, I think it's your upper lip. I should have left you to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should have. Something's not quite right. I agree. Uh, not smelt this in quite some time. The smell. Oh, becomes stronger as you move southward leading you to the undergrowth at the edge of the forest to the south yeah thetsu give me a <laughs> give me another perception check please oh i done so good with the last one ah it's actively better yeah the foul scent leads you to a human corpse, half buried in the underbrush, about 15 feet from the road. The young man appears to be nothing more than a commoner. His muddy clothes are torn and raked with claw marks. Crows have been at the body, which is surrounded by large paw print. The, the man has obviously been dead for several days. He holds a crumpled envelope in one hand. Ma, uh, take oh, no. the envelope and investigate it before opening. I'll see if there's any names or anything descriptive on it. Oh fuck! You can't read cursive. <laughs> no one can read I'll cursive. Hold it. Hail the of might and valor, I, the Burgomaster of Barovia, send you honor with despair. My adopted daughter, blah blah blah, conquer, give to you, blah 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 blah. Much wealth and trapped in community, blah blah blah, coiling. Wait, wait, wait. Read that all the way through again. Wait, wait, what's the last name? Indirovich? Oh, fuck. It's the same letter. That's the same letter from the one I got. 
And where is the letter that you got? I burned it, but the one thing I did remember was the last name. Dumbass. What direction does it say go down with long pass or whatever? Um. Also, does it say anything about a wife or uh, adopted, adopted daughter of the fair Irina Koliana, bitten so like by a vampire? What the fuck is a vampire? I've heard of a vampire, like a... but not a vampire. P it's like a vampire. Could I roll a history check, see if I would know anything on that? Uh, Mike is currently uh, making a drink. Uh, hadn't caught that. That's right. You burnt the letter and now we find this. Well, extremely super. W, continue my friend. No, that was all. I just stated the letter is extremely similar to the one that was burned. It implies we are not the first, but that we may not also be the last. It would be nice to have the letter that you had there, but as needs must. Didn't you guys get given a letter? No, I woke up here. Oh. Yeah, some big fucking dude just handed me a letter and said, I'll expect you here at this time. Help my dying wife. And then this big fucking dragon thing walked over to me, being a nosy bastard, to find out what the fuck happened. And yet he's here, and you're here, and he has more concern. Yeah, maybe if he wasn't a fucking nosy bastard, this wouldn't be happening right now. Why are you even here? Yeah, that's a good question. You clearly don't want to be here. Yeah, but this little fucking idiot invoked God on me. I in fact did invoke God on him. Ah, fucking did. that will quench the thirst. Um, but, 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 but Kados wants to know if he can roll a history check on the word vampire here, as it's spelt vampire, V-A-M-P-Y-R, to see if there's any difference between a vampire and a vampire, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. Go ahead, give me a DC 10 history check. Gonna get, gonna throw gang signs and shout guidance. <laughs> I say that, she better have fucking guidance. Investigation, fuck's sake. She's got oh, guidance. Wow. There, that's history. Fuck me. Rolling an investigation instead of a history. That's okay, Kados. No worries. Hey, uh, the DM just took 30 minutes of your fucking lives trying to figure out how to get tokens <laughs> on the screen. Uh, and so the line that you're going to hear more often than not is. Fuck. Uh, you fuckers are getting exactly what you pay for for these sessions from a DM. And sometimes <laughs> you may feel like you're overpaying, even when it's free. <laughs> um, Kados. The mm -hmm. um, Kados. You can recollect that different cultures spell vampire differently and refer to them in different ways. And this is one of those instances instances of potato potato. Okay. What the fuck says it is potato? My my aunt keeps calls them potatoes. They're potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean tomato potato. tomato. My favorite one I heard was just <laughs> starch sack. Oh, what's that? On, what? Start on down to the basement and give me some potatoes. Starch sack. Give me some fucking potatoes, you dick. It's, uh... Run on down to the basement and grab me some potatoes. Do you relay that information? <laughs> uh, yeah. That just... Ah. Oh, it's exactly the same as a vampire. It's just spelled differently. I'm gonna keep a hold of that letter. Okay. Can I burn it? Keep it away from this pyro. <laughs> that is the idea. Burn me. Go ahead, step to me. Step to me, I'll put you back in the ground. No thanks. For the third time. <laughs> That's good. 
Please try to remember you're still extremely weak. Mm. That's who would put you into the ground extremely fast. Let's, uh, continue onwards and, uh, I don't know, this, this body isn't worth much. Loot it if you wish, but mm. I will move forward. I'm just going to walk on, fold the letter up and place it in my pocket. I, I shall follow. All right. No shall follow. The edge of the forest begins to retreat as the party enters an open area of the land. On either side of the road, you begin to notice the makings of what would, could only be described as simple crops. Cultivated land. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How's the farmland looking, though? Like, we, we're we looking at, like, you know, cornucopia as a bountiful crop, or are we looking at famine? Ah. Uh, Perception. An excellent question. No, this doesn't require um, a perception check. Um, a cornucopia would be a variety of crops providing numerous different uh, vegetables to be placed upon a table. So corn, wheat, um, broccoli, tomatoes, um, things of that nature. However, what you see are more of a simple fare, things that would grow in less light, potatoes, root vegetables such as turnip, parsnips, squash. And I'm guessing a few pumpkins. Yes. Wouldn't be a spooky thing without some good old pumpkins. Spooky. What are these? Spooky, scary, scary. What, what are these things? Uh, I don't have a clue. They're vegetables. Well, most Fed of them. Of some sort. Never seen them before. Um, I don't know. Is this enough to sustain life? Uh, yes, actually, it's just root vegetables. Most of this is what we give to people in the church. It must be depressing eating that every day. Oh, we try to change it up sometimes. You must make it into a soup or something. Yeah, we do. Mm. Uh, we mm. boil it, cook it, boil it, make it into a broth. Sometimes, if we have the chance, we use meat. Boil it, mash it, put it in a stew. Don't yeah. make me hungry. Mm -mm. It's quite good, actually. There's like a thousand different ways to make potatoes into stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. One of my favorite ones is just boiling it, mashing it, and putting butter in. Would it be possible within my reach to grab like an ear of said corn? There Before is no you do that, I would no stop you. No corn. Oh. No corn. Before you reach oh, yeah, really out much. to grab anything, I would have stopped you and said, careful, could be magic. I don't think someone would enchant corn. You'd be surprised. You know, we were, I, could, I could go full thistle on you guys. Oh, please fucking don't. <laughs> Some You're horror in story, man. Forest. Uh, is there, like, uh, like carrot or something then that's, you know, easily within reach within my hex that I could easily, you know, go and pluck out of the ground to look at? Um, you see uh, a root vegetable with its faded green top protruding from the ground. A number of them planted in a neat row. Just pull one up. It's all entirely new to me. I'm going to pull one up and see what it looks like. 
You are the proud owner of a parsnip. Woo! I would also like to pull one out of the ground, see what I get. Same row? Uh, they'll go a different row. They'll go a different row. You have a rutabaga, otherwise known as a turnip. Yeah. I've never heard it called that. <laughs> it's fucking neat. Isn't, isn't that basically just, like, Swede and stuff? Turnips are considerably smaller than Swedes, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, I will join in and go one row behind that one. I just say to them, you do realize there are probably some farmers who these crops belong to. I don't yeah. care. It's satisfying watching them come out the ground. Yeah, it's fun. And you, my friend are able to harvest an acorn squash. Can I look around to see if there's a farm that... nearby? I'm interested. Um, that... Go ahead and give me a perception check, Selka. I want to bite it. Yo, those things are adorable. Smash a cage so on there. Tiny. They're so tiny. What are... The acorn squash. Acorn squash. They're so tiny and cute. Uh, so uh, yo, there we go. Take a guidance. Um, I should take guidance. Oh, they are cute. Yep, Bernadette, go ahead. Take a guidance. One d four. Yep. I don't know how that got to history. Oh, that was that was uh, Kados. Oh. All right, I'm gonna throw up the d four for you. A solid nine. Uh, you, the mists are too thick to reveal any sort of farmhouse or village or anything of that nature, but you know that you are traipsing through cultivated crops. Hmm. I'm going to assume there is a farmhouse nearby then. That would, be a, that, that, that would be a safe assumption. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say this. If you see a farmhouse, please tell me. I want to make sure that the, either the, the farmer is okay with us taking some, or if we can just procure some. Well, here's the easy option. Don't tell him. You're telling me we're close to civilization? Where well, are you? Your option. Put them back. I'm not from here, clearly. Well, yes, I noticed you didn't know what squash was. I Wait, no more vet fruits. What? Oh, this is a pepper. Mm. I'm from a more fruity and tropical land. Mm. He's from Detroit. <laughs> what what is Detroit? Detroit? He's more of a plantain kind of guy. Vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> we could make a stew. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Detroit. <laughs> These are all entirely new to me. I'm just going to like take a bite out of the parsnip just as this. Oh, I wouldn't do uh -huh. that. I just say, those aren't, you might want to wash that first. Yeah, I wouldn't have it taken a bite out I of that. I just going to on my clothes and take a bite. That, that's too. No. As you bite the end of the parsnip, your taste buds sense a oh, <laughs> earthy, somewhat bland, fibrous vegetable. I'm just going to say that mostly, those aren't... Mostly devoid of any real flavor. Those aren't that good unless you put them with something. Yeah, they're more good as just added starch or... Yeah. You don't eat them by themselves. Uh, I just look around the crops to see if I can see anything that would be a little bit more tasty, like a carrot or something. By your luck. Pull them from another row, see what you get. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of rub down the squash and just start eating um, it. Selkath, give me a nature check, please.
Damn. Yeah. Oh, damn. I'd fight 18, y'all. Yeah, you can you can identify uh, a variety of crops. Uh, potatoes, turnips, squash, parsnips, and uh, a few rows of carrots. Cool. I'm just going to go over to the carrots and just pull one out of the ground. I'm going to follow suit and just go, what's that? I'm going to... I'm going to follow, because clearly he knows what he's doing, and I want a carrot. I'm just standing there, half-crunched parsnip, just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I'm just going to clean it off and use, like, a l the little stuff I have to make it, like, slightly more appealing to look at. Like, chop the root, scrape the roots off, wash it, like, wipe it off on my clothes. Brushing the soil from the carrot... And wiping it off. Um, it is not quite the bright orange that you normally would ex expect it to see. It's a little more pale. Perhaps owing to the lack of sunshine. But it, it seems to be a healthy plant that you now hold in your hand. Huh. I yeah, I guess it's the was deep. They go pretty well in the um, thing. i just going to snap the carrot in half, take a bite of the half of it to make sure it's good. It's crunchy. It's fresh. You definitely do get um, that flavor of a carrot in your mouth, although not quite as vibrant as you have hmm. sampled in other parts of of the world to this point. I guess that makes sense. It's uh, from a place where there's not a lot of sun. I hand it over to um, my friend I, Tet Tetsu, and then I hand it to him. Here, that's slightly more flavorful. It's a bit less so than I'm used to, but still better than a parsnip. Gonna, gonna hold it up. A visual comparison. Yes, I know it looks like an orange version of the parsnip, but trust me, it's better. No, those are very good. They're very, very good. Gonna move it slow to the lips and just kind of like rip off just like the tiniest little bit of, you know, an absolute distrust as to what's going on. Yeah. You trust me that little? Really? Uh, th that's you're, a, that's you're a truly thing I would lie to you. I pulled one of these from the ground and... This it's eye. a parsnip. I told you, you your, eye, your eyes open, your your eyebrows raised for just the briefest of moments as your taste buds clearly appreciate the carrot more than the uncooked parsnip. Motherfucker so, makes me want carrots now. More... Jokes on you, I have carrots. Sweet. Savory is a better term for it, but you know. It's... I wish this had beets, though. I do quite like beets. Oh. Well, as you have stated, where there is a land of foods, stuff. Vegetables. Vegetables. You say there must be someone to tend to these crops. Um, yes. If, um... if it starts here... Should we maybe follow the road? Yes, if we can find a farmhouse, then we might find some equipment which we will be able to gather this stuff. And I, if I, we help... My, my friend, I am not... I don't work the farms. You're stuck here. You look like a corpse. You're gonna eat something. Or I'm gonna force you to eat something. Those are your two options. I can assure you it's not going to be anything from the ground. But maybe barring these, I'm gonna hold the carrot. This reminds me of um, a small fruit, uh, colored, uh, sometimes red, sometimes green, uh, crunchy. You mean an apple? Oh, or you melon? have them where you're from. Yes. Yeah, we grow apple trees. They're very hot. This place just is not very sun-filled, so you won't find any... <laughs> Yeah. I'll I'll do you one better. What we do is we cook it into a pastry, or pies. Into a pie. Oh, very good. Your mind. Anyway, to the farmhouse. Your Maybe. mind 
your mind wanders your mind wanders for the brief, briefest of moments to that savory savory meat pie that you enjoyed Fuck you. oh oh if only if only you get, your your stomach actually kind of growls a little bit at the thought of being able to enjoy another one of those meat pies i want a meat pie again and also, if we if the farmer has a stove, I could make some of the soup I know how to make. And let's go. I have not eaten in. I'm gonna look up to the sky. Time. I have <laughs> not eaten in time. I like that touch. The uh... where, where where are you from specifically? Like, do you have a geographic location? I've been quite a, I've been a, in quite a few places. So, maybe you'll know. I don't think you will. Let's continue. Try me. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Not many people go to my place and come back. I think we should, uh, on a completely different top notes, we should uh, make a stew tonight. Whenever I, the night is. I'm just gonna lead the party in the direction towards where the fields lead. Okay, Draken says, "Can we make a meat pie?" <laughs> I don't think we have enough meat to do that. Unless you want to go eat some human, because that's disgusting. But it's meat. No, we're, no, we're not eating human. Yeah, I don't think my body is. <laughs> what was that sound? Why well, make some moving? I thought it was a sound effect from the fucking. Net. <laughs> this is a soundtrack. The. Uh... <laughs> The Svalich Road continues westward. The party plodding one foot in front of the other. Oh, that's I would like someone in the party to give me a perception check. I done it last. There it is, a six. A six? That's an eight, mate. A, uh, no, I see Draken. Rolled up a six. Uh, I rolled an eight. I see self yes, rolled an eight. Oh. Oh. Yes, you did. And here's an important lesson for you all. When I call for, I would like the party to make a perception check. The first one who rolls represents the party. Oh, I, I don't see. I don't see his roll in chat, mate. I can't see his either. Yeah, I mean, I remember. Draken, what did you roll for a perception check that came out uh, before? Okay. A six and an eighteen. And a nineteen, yep. Mm -hmm. I'll just screech like it's, it's not that we don't believe you, mate, just letting you know that we don't I think see. he might have rolled it privately. Yeah, I rolled that. Yeah, I'm about that. Is I can see uh assuming the same as what uh that's you can see. <laughs> that's right, if you roll that out like I'm not gonna argue it. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not another not it's just thought roll twenty it was fucking up again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You continue walking along the Svalich Road, passing row upon row of vegetables, completely oblivious to what may or may not be lurking out there. You can go ahead and move your tokens another uh, hex or two if you would like. I might just be like kind of on the grass here, but just because there's already a token on there. Yep. And then boop boop. There you go. Perfect. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, can I please get? Uh, I would like the party to make another perception check. Now, if you'd like to stop and discuss who. Okay, Kato's. Finger was, over the button. I was going to ask him when he said party. I was wondering if he was meaning group there. Yes. Part, party is group. Group, party, interchangeable. Uh, so, I wasn't getting caught lacking this time. No, just, just so um, for just for clarity for the table, um, if I call for a group check or a party check, it's the first roll that comes up. If I say I would like each of you to make a perception check, then everybody gets to roll. Does that help you clarify things? Yeah. Yep. Okay. A little, a little better. Okay. Um, Kato. Mm -hmm. 
buried or laying on the ground next to a row of vegetables just off the road, you find, you see the dead body of a wolf, a spear and three crossbow bolts impaled into the corpse. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, there's, there's a dead wolf over there with a crossbow bolt in it. Oh. Was it um, not a wait, pod dead man somewhat back in, by the forest? Mm. Mm. Maybe uh, everyone can I check out all this. It's dead. It yeah, can I check out how long it's been lying there for? Are you sure it's dead? Because there are th such a thing as things that will come back. Uh, just hold our holy I, symbol out ready and waiting. I can check, I guess. I'll roll just, it. Jack, I'm going to ask him to do that. Does that have a spear? Someone go poke it. I um, have a better option. I, I could roll, roll it by axe and hand out. Does anybody want to just chop its head off? Yeah, sure. Well, I've got a better idea. How about we check it's dead first? Before we, start desecrating... Before we start desecrating its body. Fuck that, it's a big wolf. If it goes for us, fuck that. I'm not dying again. Mm. Like, I hold my axe out. Like I said, take his fucking head off. Alright. I see where he's coming from. But, you know, if it has three crossbows, bolts, and a spear, um. <laughs> It, 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 it deserves a Grammy for for playing dead so very well. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a wolf. At the end of the day, wolves aren't massively great at playing dead. True. See the rise. You'd be able to see the rising and falling of its chest quite easily. Can you? That's what I'm going to try and check. What if it's undead? Can an undead wolf doesn't breathe? Um, and how would we ascertain if it's undead without checking? It's got to that. If it's undead, it. we'd learn a lot more about this place than we know currently than detect if we just took his head off. Wait, I got detect magic. Detect that magic, boy. I'm gonna ca cast detect magic on the wolf. Your detect magic spell does not give off anything from the body of the wolf that lies on the ground. There is absolutely no magic in that dog or wolf or whatever. Well, we were talking about making a stew a couple minutes ago. We now have meat. Uh, let's check how long it's been dead first. I'm sure we don't want to start eating something or, rotten or is or is people from my age call it corpse pies hey, where I'm right from me, meat is meat give me a nature check please nature check dc 10 that's not a 10 that that's is half. a that is a dead wolf that you cannot determine how long it has been lying here on the ground expired Yep, I can no. tell. If we get the shits, we get the shits. I'm not I'm massively not great at this. It still looks relatively fresh to me. Can I see that axe? Yeah, yeah. That's a pass it over. I'm gonna take the axe and chop its head off. The head separates from the rest of the body. How fresh does the meat look? Is it bleeding or is it to the point where it's not? Is it bleeding or is it coagulated? Yeah. It is congealed. It is it is congealed. Is the meat is the meat rotted yet? Give me a nature check. DC is ten. It... Oh boy! Uh, don't screw me over, please. Don't stop me now. Having a good time. I'm having a ball. So. Stop now. Hey. <laughs> this this is a dead 
fucking wolf. You, you, although you have dined on a variety of meats, have perhaps never taken hand in the slaughter of any sort of beef or meat creature, and you just can't tell how long this has been dead or if it is safe to eat. Let me can I, ponder a can question. I check? Let me ponder a question. Is this if I know any better? You left your areas, your your places. You traveled and you didn't think to bring food with you. Oh no, I, I don't think that's correct. Oh no, I, I, I have food. Yeah. We just want I'd much rather. Then why are we fucking around with this one? If you have because food. it would be much it would be much nicer to have something freshly prepared than something that is not. Yeah, throw I'd my rather, arms I'd rather out towards the emery. field. Yeah, throw my arms out towards the field. This is fresh, is it not? Mm. By your words, oh, yes. this is fresh. Yes, however, it's better to have vegetables and meat. I I kind of walk up to uh, that too and put my hand on his shoulder and go point towards the dead wolf and go a lot more nutrition in that than there is the vegetables also the fact that we're not gonna eat the wolf now i mean as i kind of look down towards the wolf and go kind of pick up the head i mean it looks fresh enough if you want to eat the wolf go right ahead it probably wouldn't be the nicest of meats, but it's better than no meat at all. Can I just shear off a bit with my dagger? Just poke it and just kind of smell it? <laughs> it? It doesn't smell rotten, but it doesn't smell fresh. It's in that middle stage. Does anyone spot a farmhouse yet, or no? Uh, nope. No, it's not too dark. We'd probably have to go into the fields to be able to try and spot a farmhouse. <laughs> I kind of open my backpack and uh, just cut a bit off at the ribs and put it in my backpack. Right, let's go. All right, so add two pounds of wolf meat to your inventory. Do you know how to do that, Corey? Yep. Yep. I got an idea. I just light a bit of sacred flame in my hand. Can we see any better now, or not much? Sacred Flame um, doesn't give off light. Uh, Sacred Flame is more uh, of of radiant attack that, that you would make. It's like radiant um, hmm. damage. Then I'm just going to fire it at the, uh, one of the... Is there anything that's wooden that would be easy to hold? Guys, be... I cannot have one better. I take out, I just kind of smile, take out my piece of torch, and smile like that. Oh wait, I just have a tinderbox with me, don't I? I oh, look, they're finishing each other's utensils. Yeah, how cute. You have, you have sacred flame, you could have just lit it with that. I fire it again at this thing. I'm not going to hold it. Sacred flame? Is really there's no flame to the sacred part of the flame. Uh, it's, okay. it's In that damage. case, I'm I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna give a, the start of the tinder box and light it's a real. Okay. Oh, that's your look. Them are oh, bickering like an old married couple. You know the uh, funny thing about this? He's got touched. Mm, yes. Um, so he knows how to light things magically. Yeah, exactly. With a light spell. But he's too mm. fucking stupid to think. I can I just turn around and go, yeah. yeah, I'd rather not waste energy when I can just use a fucking it's torch. It's a fucking cantrip. Don't care. The spark catches the torch alight. It grows from a dull, dim, glowing ember, bursting into a slight flame, and then spreading to the full head of the torch. It hisses as if the torch, although soaked in a resin that typically would 
allow a bright, clear flame. It is somewhat subdued, smokier than normal, but still casts light. Does it help at all? Uh, what are you hoping to accomplish with a lit torch? See a farm. See That's more than a vision. Um, seeing color, I'll tell you that much. The, the torch does not give off enough light uh, to illuminate into the distance enough to see any sort of building. May I? I can. Uh, I pass the torch over to uh, Silcath. Pull out another torch, but without lighting it, I just light. All right, so deduct two torches from your inventory. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. He's using, he's talking... the, he's using oh. the stick as something to cast the light's cantrip on. Ah, very good. Okay. Uh, so, Draken, your light spell cast upon the unlit torch from your inventory pack um, glows in a golden light flickering and fluttering but much brighter than the lit torch itself it seems to be mm. more effective okay if you want to light the area up just burn the crops we no. need we don't, I don't need anything but to get out of here that's I, I understand your going. enthusiasm but we can't burn stuff like that I also feel like the people Mr. who are living here... A letter that could it. be extremely important to me later on, but who cares? I would like each of you to roll me a perception check, DC 5. Oh, oh, DC oh we five. can't feel that. Oh, no, it's Harry Potter. I got fucking that one. Very <laughs> possible. You, got, yeah. you had to say it. You had to say Let's show you blind-ass... Bitch. <laughs> the fuck am I seeing? <laughs> How do we do a nut? You get Absolutely goddamn nothing. That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's what I get for ten to do. That yeah. is you fucking can awesome. Your eyes and awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Kados, Selkath, uh, Bernadette, and Draken. Mm -hmm. From far off to the east, you hear the grinding and screeching of gears no. and a Wait. giant door oh. closing and shuttering itself. I kind of look over at Selka and Kados. Far off in the distance. Like, I would say almost right about, hang on. Yeah. I can oh, yeah. look off in that direction, look back quickly at both Keros and Silkath and smile and go, I think we found our farmhouse. Uh, what? That came from where we came from. That sound was in the direction that we were that we came from. I think that was the what city sound? door closing. No, the city, the city door wasn't, can't have been that close. The gate? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, but, yeah, but it was, the, it was the sound of gears moving. And, like somebody was, you know, winding something up. Yeah, there was, we're stuck. No, there was no gears. Or when we were listening to the door open. We were, yeah, no it was definitely not that kind of door. It was more of a kind of big, heavy wooden fucker, not a big wooden door. Mm. But this is that's just gonna looking around, listening to everyone <laughs> that's going and darting, just kind of looking. What fucking sound? Oh, there's there was a uh, sound, sound of shifting gears off to the east. What? I'd say. I'd say approximately. I don't know. Fifty feet. I can't quite tell with this. If something was within 50 feet of us, I'm oh, no, sure it's not I'd have hurt it. Yeah. No, yeah, probably. I, I can't tell. Everything's... Well, I mean, Bernadette's currently giving me a thumbs up when we're talking about the sound, so... 
I'm kind of guessing you're just fucking deaf. Probably. After all, so, you two were bickering. I mean, as much as we were bickering, they two still heard it, and they were with us. Mm, well, Please. not to what the check out, out, but anyone could hear you two bickering. Yeah, true. You'd wake the dead. I'm gonna look over at the corpse of the wolf just to make sure that it's still fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still dead. Don't you worry. It you uh, it, it has not moved at all. And the Grammy Award for Best Acting for <laughs> Being Dead goes to... All right, the wolf. Dead Wolf goes to... The Dead Wolf! <laughs> wolf number th four. <laughs> oh. uh. Should we continue the path, or should we head towards your sound? Well, we did want to find a farmhouse. Yeah, let's head towards the farmhouse, see if we can get some food. And as it was clearly moving, there has to be someone over there. So maybe we could learn more about this place. Oh, good idea. Lead the way. All right, so going to continue eastward? Mm -hmm. Through the grass or by the path? Uh, follow the road and move. Now that's uh, eastward. You're going, you're going east or west? To the sound of the noise. Okay. Uh, following the road, you re-enter the forest area, the trees choking out. You arrive at the gates and find them barred. Shut. Oh, fuck. You are now truly guests in the land of Barovia. Oh, well then. Let's, uh... Okay. Let's get, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. How? The gates are fucking locked. Well, yes. The gates are locked. There might be ones on the other fucking side. The fucking side? We haven't even found another side yet. Well... How do we know there even it. is another side? Well, think about it this way. Follow the gravelly road... I was going to say yellow brick road, but it's not yellow <laughs> and it's not made of bricks. So, yeah, follow this fucking thing. We might find some more gates to get out. All right. Just, you know, I'd, using I'd, the I'd like to, level I'd brains to, I have left. I'd like I to use all be, to remember this was your idea. I think yeah, it would be a miracle if we even find another side. Well, do you know what? With how dark it is. What is Selkath? That's it. You notice that the sun has moved across the horizon along its ecliptic and hangs westward three quarters of the way to the horizon. Could I use that to roughly... Could, could I use that to roll survival to roughly try and gauge the time of the... <laughs> Would that be something I'd be able to ascertain? I would uh, I would absolutely give you a nature check. I'm going to make it a DC 10 only because you are in a foreign land and you're used to being able to gauge the time of day from an entirely different part of the world. Now, everyone's going to hate me when I say this, but would that be at disadvantage? Yes. No. no, it would not. Really? No, really. Huh? Because the sun the sun rises, the sun sets from wherever you came from. I'm 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 ramping up the DC <laughs> Man, fucking um, dice are with me the night, isn't they, trips? Yeah. Yeah. So um Oh fuck do you come from in that city? The sun the sun is hanging lower in the sky than earlier. Hey guys, did you know the sun is hanging lower in the sky than earlier? <laughs> Can I guess that? We have been in here for what, an hour? Yes, um, and half of that was backtracking. You, the party, 
exited the caravan, fought a group of dire wolves, met your host, proceeded through the gates. You have traveled roughly from the gates After two miles, Ooh. turned around, went back two miles, and then turned around and came back. So you have you have marched six miles, which, give or take, is going to take somewhere between two and three hours out of a day. <laughs> now, it is 642. We are a little over halfway through. I am going to call for a quick five to ten minute break for everybody to refresh their snacks, their refreshments, and yeah. use the bathroom. And uh, when you're back, please type in chat on roll 20 that you are back, and we will know when to pick up. I'm going to make a sandwich. Really? Oh. And, yeah, and, t and table talk is absolutely encouraged during the break. The sun sets lower in the sky as it begins its march towards the horizon. The party now finds itself back at the decapitated corpse of the wolf. No closer, no farther. Uncertain if they're going to make shelter before night falls. I just want to find this farmhouse. <clears throat> One Take hour. it away, lads. One hour if we don't find it. The farmhouse then we make camp in the fields someone will find us the farmhouse would be safer yes however you did not see what i saw what did you see i Would've saw a man appear out of thin air call us his guests wave a hand and bring back this one points towards draken and then leave in a puff of smoke with the wolves. Let me be clear. I have never seen such magic before. Neither that by the gods or by the leeches. That I bring people be back all the time. Like, it's half my job. That would you have been uh, you extremely hard to know. I thought that you saw. Been... I was behind some rocks. You know what that is? Do you issue? It's a you problem. Yeah, it was some big drink. More like your paranoia is the problem here. None of us were actually scared. Oh no. You should be. He appeared out of nowhere. And I know many people who have managed to do that. Yeah. Yes, My father being one of them. However, you could have come with me for the step of Misty Step. Think where we are. Think very carefully. We are the strangers here. You would do wise to remain on caution. Okay, crunchy boy, mute your mic or I'm going to make bad things happen to you. Ash just his bones, he's only got one HP. <laughs> <laughs> that was All right. you sound like a chip bag. Left left was... right stop acting like a squirrel in the middle of the fucking road. Pick a vector. If you want an hour. We'll go in that direction for an hour and if I'm no further for a farmhouse, we make camp. Deal. Deal. Hmm. That works. Okay, east or west, which way do you guys head? Straight on. North, north or south? Yeah. yeah, straight on. That helps. West. Well, we were okay. initially made in a westernly direction. Ah. Wonderful. Wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, we made hey, it somewhere. Yay! How about that shit? All right. Is it just me or does this look very familiar? Yeah, because... It the, the previous Crusher Strad game that we played in that. Oh, right. <laughs> Matthew, what, what was the one shot we done? Tavern of the Lost. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. That reminded me of. Everyone here by Say Hi has run Tavern of the Lost. 
Yeah. Just best one by far was the pistol. <laughs> Uh, should we use our own tokens or use the party token, Mike? Given now that we uh, can, I would, I, would, I, I would love it if you would use just the party token. I don't see any need to clutter the map with um, individual party tokens. If you guys are fine with that, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. So part the party follows follows the Svelich road westward. You've been traveling. For the better part of a day, the sun hangs low on the horizon, its filtered light casting long shadows towards the east from tall shapes that loom out of the dense fog that surrounds everything. The muddy ground underfoot gives way to slick, wet cobblestones. The tall shapes become recognizable as village dwellings. The windows of each house stare out from pools of blackness. No sound cuts the silence except for mournful sobbing that echoes through the streets from a distance. Mm. We're not in Kansas now, are we? No, Toto. <laughs> What's a Kansas? Who's Kansas? Uh, this, uh... <laughs> uh, someone needs to jokes. start sing someone needs to start singing Carry On My Wayward Son. Hmm. That's Carry a supernatural on. one. <laughs> Sweet home mail bam. Put the bunny back in the box. <laughs> ah. Uh, well, the running. It in the distance you hear a banjo. Ba -ba -ba. And, and a male voice calls out from one of the dark, darkened houses. That's a right pretty mouth you got there, boy. I think it's about time I take my leave. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not be funny, but I got flashbacks of the. Uh, I just got the family guy curb at the frog one. Uh, <clears throat> does anyone else hear the crying? Mm, yes. I can hear it. Yep. Ah. Uh, what manner of place is this? That's a village. Mm. Betsu, the first thing that strikes you is the absence of any defenses, palisades, walls, and earthen berm. The town is completely undefended, which is a foreign concept to you from the land from which you hail. Oh, so peaceful. It's obviously these things so open. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of normal. Yeah, mm -hmm. villages tend to be quite open. When, mainly when you get to a bigger city, you tend to see that they're well defended. Yeah, places like this is kind of like, you know, a family-run place. Oh, we could so. run this place in ten minutes. Is it a, pla a place to, like... Yeah, like no, I, walk walk I kind of walk over with my hand on Tetsu's arm and go, see when you see places like this that aren't defended at all, that's when you fucking need to worry that you can't take this place over in ten minutes. No, I could. Mm. Very easily. No, no, no. no. Trust me. That's, that's, that's what you think. See when there's no defences lying about. That's because they don't need to, because anyone that tries to fuck around finds out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either this either these towns are filled with crazy people, or there's at least three retired adventurers who live here. And these three adventurers are more powerful than all of us combined. You tend to find they are the wealthy sort of adventurer, and that's because they put up and they sh made people shut up. Yep. Rockin reaches into his pack and pulls out this neat little graph. On one axis is labeled fuck around. <laughs> on, on the y axis is find out. I kind of just I walk over and put it right into Petsu's face. <laughs> Point somewhere. Well, I am up here. I'm pointing to the top most right hand side. Well, that also means you'd have to be and I'd drag his finger all the way across to up there. 
to fuck around, you have to find out on an equal measure. Would you like to? Is that a threat? Or is that a promise? My people don't make promises, we don't make a threat. I don't have enough healing spells for Kato. both. Okay, so Kato is going to step in the and push them both back and go, Ladies, please, keep the bickering to the bedroom. And if you're going to murder each other, could you at least wait till morning? I have to wait for my my spell slots to refill. Shut up, Dragon so Boy. Weak right I, don't, I, don't know about, I don't know about you lot, but I'd rather like to find an inn, get some food, and go to bed. How so about, how about we do that? How about... Oh. We disregard that and find out who this is. I'm going to reach in and get the letter with the name. His I daughter mean, has been bit by a vampire. How about, how about we do that in the morning? I understand that we have to find this out, figure out what the fuck's going on, but it's very difficult to do that on an empty stomach and no sleep. Do you Agreed. see a tavern anywhere? Yeah. That's why we should look I around. Kinda, I, I kinda just smile and pat Thetsu on the legs. See, these little things. Fucking use them. Round. My friend. It was not obvious already. I am not from lands like this. I don't know what I'm looking for. Most likely family. It's a new place we've never been before. We all don't know what the fuck we're looking for. Their tavern could be a fucking backroom shed. Eh, wouldn't be the first time I've stayed in backroom shed. How room. about we start searching, hmm? Agreed. Yes. Uh, I say we split off into teams of two and three. I say we split... Teams uh, of two and three when there are... Five of us. Yes. Team of two and team of three. Absolutely. What about I'm, dis I'm discounting Bernadette, yep. Because I haven't heard her, I've just completely like, blanked her. That's on me. So I say, for smartness, yes, yeah, so you two go. You can take Dragon Boy and Fetsu to save, you know, another fight breaking out. Because I know that me and him will see fire shooting off in the distance. You'll know that one of us are dead. Probably me, because I feel like shit. Okay, so it's... Who is coming with me in Bernadette? Dragon Boy. Okay. He has a name. Yeah, it's Dragon Boy. He's hardly no, smarter okay. than you. It's yes, his name is still Dragon Boy. I think you'll find that you owe your life to him. Maybe you should show him a bit more respect. Hmm. Who said Dragon Boy wasn't an uh, endearment of respect? Everyone who has watched you interact with each other. Yeah. You don't seem to take it in a very respectful way. Uh. Oh. Well then, Mr. Selkath. Thank you. Go with the lady and her companion. And then... I'll take this lovely person so I can teach him a few things about these kind of areas. The group discussing their plans, trudging westward into the town, comes no. upon a four way intersection. The gravel lo road leading to a village. Its tall houses, dark as tombstones, nestled among these solemn dwellings are a handful of closed-up shops. Everything seems to be shut tight. A soft whimpering draws your eyes towards a pair of children standing in the middle of an otherwise lifeless street. Got a little something for you here. I've seen and this before. Is... Hey, uh, Kados is gonna. The girl kneels, cradles her, the young boy's head into her chest, and says, Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. She turns to you all and says, There's a monster in our house. She points to a tall brick row house. 
well kept smoke pouring from the chimneys lights breaking the now near darkness that has settled upon the land it has a gated portico on the ground floor and the gate is slightly ajar houses on either side are abandoned their windows and doors boarded up and nailed shut a monster you see what does yes. this uh, monster look like nope yeah Mon yeah there's there's a monster there's a monster in the basement i we we don't know what it looks like our parents forbade us from from going down there and we always obey mother and father i cannot just crouch down go down to the level see when mum and dad tell you to leave it the fuck alone leave it the fuck alone we did we did then why are what? you asking us to intervene when it seems like hang, a, a, hang on a second hang on a second issue. where where are your parents we haven't seen them. We haven't seen them in days. In days, I don't know where they are. We're all alone in the house, in our bedroom. I call on bullshit. The, on the third floor. Please, yeah, I call you, bullshit. You must help us, please. I'd like to uh, insight that. I feel that Bernadette would also guidance that. All right, so go go ahead and give me an insight check, and you have a D4 to mm -hmm. add to your result. I don't know how she'd play in terms of roleplay, but I know what she'd do. Yep, and would you, Kados, would you like to have that D4? Oh, baby. Okay. I'll take that. Beautiful. The young, the young girl is looking at you square in the eye, and although she is frightened... She's not searching for the words or looking up and to the left or to the right, trying to find the right, the right words to carry on this conversation. You can tell that she is sincere. No, he isn't lying. They're not lying. No, they're not. I've seen this before. She, she, hasn't, she isn't making any sort of attempt to try and lie in any way shape or form <clears throat> I kind of look over at Fetsu with a kind of look of familiarity kind of like why do they look familiar no 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 this scenario alright oh, I mean like you know they kind of look like our friend we met mm. he was... I kind of pull him to the side and go do you not think they look remotely similar to the big person who spoke to us a while ago and brought me back. Kind of duck over and look. No, they're... He was pale. They're... They're blue. I wasn't meaning their skin tone. I was more meaning their whole get-up. Their whole vampire look. Please. Please, you must help us. My father, we come from an affluent family. My my father had many, many lands that grew bountiful crops and had a windmill. He became very affluent in the town. But when the dread lord appeared and the sun disappeared, those crops withered and would not grow without good sunlight. Now, all that grows here are the most hearty of vegetables with which to feed everyone. And we are, everyone is so, so very hungry. Please, was... you must say, you must, you must save my baby brother, Walter. He, he's still in his nursery. Please, you must help us. There was sunlight earlier. He followed the sun to this village. I don't think there's, I don't think there's time to stand around and chat. There's a baby in... Wait, no, wait, 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 I've wait, seen no, this wait, too wait. many times. One, two, I kind of just, I kind of just slowly kind of shush Kedos and go. You said when the sunlight left, the crops diminished. Yes, they did. 
They so why is there a full batch of fresh crops out there? He said the good crops, not those ones. Yes, those are hardy still, crops. They're still good crops, though. Maybe they don't understand that. I still feel there's something off here. Um. <laughs> Give me, roll me an intelligence check. Me. Yep, the one that's questioning why there's still crops in the field. Intelligent. Who's that? Oh, it's the same yeah, check. Yeah, you... I don't get it. There's, there's fucking a field full of crops out there, kid. What's your problem? That'll feed you. I don't, I don't really see how that's the pressing issue. There is a monster in that house with a baby. Yes, but at the same time... She's already made it, she has made it clear that she's not lying. Okay, give me a second. About this monster. This monster, as it left the basement. No, it's, it's trapped down there. Close so, why, so, why, so why is it a problem then? Would you want to go to bed? In a house, alone, without your parents, to help defend you? It's just me and my brother Thorn and my, my little baby brother Walter. Please, 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 you must help us. My parents orphaned me as a child. I've not had parents since I was six. I never knew my parents. That doesn't matter. Let's get in there and s stop this monster in general. I know my parents are so quite loving. I would like... Kados... And Draken to make a contested persuasion check, please. Oh, oh, I'm a persuasive boy, you know. Oh, oh, the same motherfucker and everything. Draken, try as you might from your life's experiences. There's this twinge of guilt at leaving these two poor, defenseless children in the street in this very strange land. And Kados making an impassioned plea that the party should help wherever they could. You begin to have the big nagging thoughts that maybe you are too harsh that your past experiences cloud your judgment I can I walk over to the girls with a bit of still hesitance to my voice and go what house are we going to it's, it's, it's just up here and she motions and points to a very tall, well-appointed manor right there. I kind of look back at the group with that kind of face of, well, I know I've been defeated now. Can I nod over like, okay, let's check this out. My friend, I've seen this before. I know how this I've, goes. And I will yeah, say right now, I will say right now, when you fall, I will take great pleasure in watching as I run. Oh, right, okay. Well, if, For... you, if you have seen this before, then you can explain what the monster is, then. No, no, the tactic. The tactic. Ah. The tactic is what? The tactic is you use the young and the innocent to lure the big and burly before you dispatch with the big and burly. Here's I'm going to put my hand on my war, chest. It's war, my friend. Simple war tactics. Yeah, he's got a point. But you know what? It's two kids. As much as they could be lying, one of you check anyway. At the end of the day, I'd rather not leave two kids out here stranded, scared. No. From what we can tell, stranded and scared. Standard voloism, survival of the fittest. Mm. Now, mm. to be on the safe side, I'm going to just put my hands on my chest and go, well, before we do this, then. Sorry, I, my brain just lagged to what's happening. We're going to go oh. into a random household to try and save two kids 
and a baby from a monster that may or may not exist, and could just be their uncle Terry who's been touching them in the poop. I don't do so often. Nathan, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Can you describe us anything about this monster at all? Have your parents ever talked about it? Anything? Every time that that we'd ask mother and father about it, they'd say, oh, it's just a figment of your imagination, but the way it would shake the house, it, it must be real. It, it must be real. They've, they've gone, and I don't know where they are, but just please go in. I will... We'll go with you. We'll go with you. Just please, you must save my baby brother, Walter. Hang on a second. Give me five minutes. I'll be right back. Okay. Once the shake your house, does anyone know oh, anything? Like crap, that? right? What was that, Matt? That's a, this is obviously a trap, right? Most likely. That's what I'm arguing. However, they... I did. I did roll an insight check, and they were being sincere. So, as much as they could be being sincere, mm. you know, tell little porkies, mm. which wouldn't surprise me if they were telling a couple of porkies. Don't yeah. you want somebody to love? Oh, whoa. no. Innocent until proven guilty, you know. Stained glass windows, candelabra, eat my ass like a chupacabra. <laughs> Show me your pistol. <laughs> Don't know why that stuck in my head all of a sudden. I just watched a guy make shawarma. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Matthew. <laughs> It's making just, me hungry. It's just that Indian guy that shows up on fucking TikTok going, You want us a shawarma? Oh, that guy, he's not even Indian, he's fucking I, I, Arab. I think he's Turk. No, he's, uh, he's Arab. Bad news, I broke the seal, so we know where that's going to go. Yep, just hang out the oh, window, right. just hang out the window. Uh-huh, well, I'm in the basement, so it's a bit of a problem. What? Yeah, I mean, when you've got a small penis, it usually is. Listen, I don't have a small <laughs> penis. I have what I like to call the Eskimo curse. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know what that is, that's five inches of clothing and three inches of cock. <laughs> and that's in a warm day. Mm -hmm. All right. So the party goes, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hesitantly, but yes. All right. Uh, Kados, as you, the party trudges northward down the cobblestone streets, she kind of reaches out to grab you by the hand, hoping to hold on to it. And she says, I'm Rose. Thank you. Thank you so much. You truly are a hero. Mm. I kind of walk up to him and punch him in the arm. Ooh, a hero. Stop prattling around. Fucking smile for once, you miserable fuck. As you approach this large, well kept four story home, you notice that it stands in a stark contrast to all the other houses that you have passed by in the village to this point. Light shines out onto the ground and into the air from mostly drawn curtains. Smoke rolls out of a number of chimneys, indicating that warm fires have been lit within. The grounds are extraordinarily well kept and and you notice that the grounds being what they are, it would take hired help to maintain such an area as opposed to a homeowner taking this much pride in what they own. For lack of a better term, it's a mansion.
Да. If this monster is in the basement, couldn't we just not close the door? There's enough building here. I also have an idea. Why don't we get the child out, avoid the basement, and just, you know, take you guys somewhere else? If you're my, my brother, he's upstairs. Just listen, if, if you don't want to stay, just save my brother. We could all leave. Okay, I'll make a deal with you guys. We can go and help save your brother if you guys lead the way. That way, if something happens, we can grab you and make sure you guys are okay. Just to make uh, sure, you know, you're not trailing behind us trying to scare us and shit. Oh, here's an idea. Stay outside. We've already agreed to help them. We can't just stay outside. Mm. No, the children, you fucking idiot. No, 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 no. Everyone's gonna know where they the don't shit know is. Know the layout of the house better than us. If we get I'm down brave. Feed, I'm brave. And my we'll brother, my faster. brother Thorn. Just, he'll hold on. He'll just, hold on wait, to my wait, skirt. Wait, you'll, wait. We will accompany you. You're so I, brave wait, wait, that wait, you're wait. asking us to come in. Why don't you just wait outside for us to clean this up? We'll come out with the baby, and that way we will learn the building as we go through. There is no need to put yourselves in danger. I kind of crouch her, down towards Rose and say, What room is it? Her feet stamp on the ground. I'm not afraid of my own home. And she then why are we here? The monsters. I just, I just need my brother. I'm, we're too afraid to go in by ourselves. But we will accompany you. We don't mean to, to, to not go in with you. If mother and father return, what would they think if there were strangers in their house? We could tell that we I, will let them know that that we invited you in. I think if your parents returned and you said there were strangers in the house, the strangers in the house that you have allowed in the house would tell your parents that you went towards the basement that they told you not to go towards. And who do you think is going to be in more trouble? Yeah, he's got a point. Your parents ever told you why you shouldn't go to the basement? No. But are there not things in this world that your parents say you should stay away from and you take them at their word? No. No, I would normally question if I was told to stay from something. No, I, 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 I would. Very at the same point in time, I wouldn't really know. I never had parents, though, so... My mother told me to stay away from the big scary. So, you know. I grew up in a tribal village. We listened to the elders. Mm. Please. Please. We'll join you. Don't make us stand outside. Is it dark in there? No. No. We we've lit lanterns. The so house, on a on a scale house. from dim to oh my god, it's so bright. Where would you say it is? You can see very well. The lanterns have been lit. There's fires in the fireplace. Come, <laughs> come, and Kato, she kind of like tugs on your hand. Come, let's go. Let's let's get Walter. Let's please. Who's Walter? I thought you said his name was Thorn. No, that's that's her uh, brother. Ted. Walter's the baby. And Rose just uh. kind of shakes her head and she says, oh, perhaps I'll use smaller words then. <coughs> this is, this oh, is, this I is could Thorn. be advised. The, the, oh. this, this is Thorn and the little boy next to her side, clutching a stuffed animal, looks up at you and smiles, hugs his stuffed animal just a little closer and she says and my baby brother is upstairs in his nursery okay i can just look around and go in this yeah can i head up i'm gonna head upstairs 
do my guess. In the house. Do. I'd, I'd say we should like go into the house. It'd probably be a smart idea. Let's fucking do it. I personally don't feel it wise to bring the children in. Mm. Let's stay out here with them. Okay then. I I shall no, go. No, me. you can go ahead. No, we That's need to heal. Coming go ahead. It is, is that a uh, good for you, Thatcher? I didn't catch anything you said. Someone spoke over you. I said that then I shall keep them near my side, and you can move in a front. If they are to hit someone, then it will be me. It's more if it's a dangerous situation. Why would we want children running around our feet? This is a that, narrow that, looking yeah. house. And at the same time, it's best to keep them with us since we don't know where it is we will be going yet. Instead of blindly the looking basement. around. No, they said no, the we're going to the third floor to get the child. The child's on the second floor. And third. Th third, second, whatever. And the monster's in the basement. The, yes, only staircase, the, monster. the only staircase going down will lead to the monster. However, it is better off first to get the children out of the way. Then we can deal with the monster. Then we don't Agreed. have to worry about it leaving the basement and attacking the children. Yeah, so let's get the kids out and then go from there. The kids are out. They're standing right there. No, and there's a third one. Upstairs. Baby. Singular. Fine, let's go. Keep the children yeah. with you. Or at least at the back. Okay, I All should right. keep them next to my side. All right. So children are going in. Or forcing the children to stay outside. Are the children in. are coming in. Right. They'll stay next to Kados. All right. Very good. At that moment, I kind of laugh and go, anyone else drink? A wrought iron gate flanked by healthy rose bushes in full bloom stand in stark contrast to the land that you now find yourselves in. An archway and stone portico lie before you. A set of double doors closed with light spilling out onto the stone entrance sheds light upon the area. I'm gonna move towards the window here and can I take a peek in and see you know the the room that I'd be looking into. There Joe. Um give me a perception check please. Come on. I'm not gonna, give, good. I'm not gonna give you a DC. I wanna see what the roll is and from there I can describe what oh very nice roll. Jeez, finally a good percent. <laughs> a good roll for a period. Yes. No, I, I think it's like, where it is, it's the light, you know, it's the light. Yeah. You can actually see now. Um, let me, allow me to do this. Just for the very briefest of moments. Hmm. Tetsu, you are looking into a fairly large room with a round table surrounded by four chairs. Stuffed wolves are mounted about the room. Two large, comfortable chairs are angled towards a lit fire. Between the chairs are a table with smoking pipes a decanter, and two glasses. Hang on a second. Rose, you said uh, that you were home alone, yes? Yes. What have you been doing for food? We have a kitchen. There was dinner being served, and suddenly everybody left. 
When was the last time you ate? A few hours ago. Two hours. A few. A few. How many hours is a few? Uh, supper? She's confused. Uh, what time in the day did everyone leave? They left just after supper. So at when? night. Last night? Today? Uh, can I just put my hand out and say, let me ask. Was it very soon or was it a while ago they left? Somewhere in the middle. It was. Oh. She's searching for the words. Yeah, a few, a few hours ago. I, I don't know. I don't Something's know. not adding up. Something's not adding up there. They're both very hungry, but they only ate a couple of hours ago. Oh, so... look! Everything I said is coming to fruition. <laughs> okay, let me ask you one final question. I'm just gonna. When you had your dinner, was it still light outside? The sun was setting low. <gasps> and she points as the sun begins to dip below the horizon. Darkness falls upon the land. And a creeping mist begins to move through the village. Oh shit. The that cries doesn't seem good. and moreful wails grow louder. Uh so that doesn't seem good. Someone close the door. I'm not let's, even in the let's, house. Let, let's get in the house quickly and have this conversation. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, fuck it, let's go let's get inside. No, this does not you. be outside. I'm gonna I just gonna all right. Place a hand on That's... a door and listen first and foremost. You know, it's that quick, cursory glance to make sure that I'm, you know, there's nothing behind the door. Absolutely. So, light spills out through a stained glass door. Give me a perception check once again, please. That's it. Oh, baby. Oh, gorgeous. That sure as hell makes up for the nat one earlier. Yes. <laughs> Definitely um, makes up. You hear no sounds of movement, except in the distance, the sound of a crackling, warming fire. I only hear fire. I've seen fire. I'm just going to place my hand on the door and kind of throw it open and hold it to the sides to make way for everyone to get in. Go now, quick, before I change my mind. I head inside. I will also head inside. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can I just shout out. Just missing a right. uh, cell calf. I said I was right. Yep, just uh, cell calf. Move your token up into uh, the house. It's completely black for me, just so you know. Oh, you, oh, you, you don't a have vision? No. Oh, shit. Uh, no, hang on. Allow me. I can fix this. Originally, you don't have dark vision, don't you not? Nope. Oh, shit. Yeah. How's that? Is that better? Nope. Mike, really? Mike, Mike, he doesn't have dark vision at all, though. So like... Yeah, but I just... I just uh, hang on. Ready? Oh. <laughs> he, he should be able to see, because there's light. Yeah, there is. Hang on. How about now? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. There we go. I just I just dropped a torch in. Well, uh, Alright, let, uh, let's shut that door. Close door. Alright. Shutting the door behind you. Um, a lot... <laughs> oh, hang on. You are... Yeah. Now find yourself in the foyer, the foyer. Oil lamps hanging from 
the portico by chains and torches lit in the room. On the east wall is a shield emblazoned with a coat of arms, a stylized windmill on a red field, flanked by framed portraits of stony-faced aristocrats. Mahogany-framed double doors lead from the foyer northward are set with panes of stained glass. Gonna point at the shield and give everybody a cursory look around. Just a shooting glance to gauge ah. everybody's reaction. Rose goes as she she kind of notices you looking at the shield and nodding to your companions. That that's my family crest. That's our windmill. That used to grind the grain and the corn into the meal for everyone to be fed in the valley. My father did so very well until the sun was blotted out from the sky. When, when, that, when, the, when that damned dread lord appeared. Are they they she goes, she points, she goes, there's mother. There's father. And she points to two portraits. To Gustav and Marianne. Kados, you were going to say something? Uh, when did the uh, sun leave the sky? When? How, lo how long ago? <laughs> when he... I dare not speak his name. That's okay. You don't, you don't have to say his name. Just was it how, how long ago? It's when he showed up. When he and, came. And, and, and when did he show up? They couldn't remember when they had dinner. You expect them to remember that? <laughs> you yeah. never know. They might do. Years ago. Years ago. We were, we were very young. Father told me. Mother was so very sad. What do your, what do your parents do then now, after they've, uh, cause, uh, if 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 no good crops grow anymore, they must have switched profession, surely. Father, father maintained the mill until the till the crops withered. And from then he was, he was so sad, was so hungry. From then on, everyone everyone was so hungry. Are these in abundance over the house? I'm going to point to the shield. Oh yeah, you will find you find many things from our family crest scattered about the home. Shield in particular. Father, father, father was so proud, so proud of everything that he had accomplished, and to see it all, all wiped out. She begins to sob. Are the shields in abundance in this house? No, no. This is this is the only one. I, I thought you were beaning the crest. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so scared. Please, my well, brother. I, it is the family crest that would be around. However, the shield is it of any particular importance? My father, he would he would drag his hands upon it whenever he left the house, and again upon. Returning, and perhaps he was thinking that someday he would. Got myself in it. <laughs> nice. So someday he thought that fortune would once again shine upon our house. So, Kath, open the door. How long have you stayed in your room since uh supper? Oh we can we get to move about the house freely. We're just not allowed to go to the basement. I'm not sure I understand. Please, Walter, please help him. Alright hey guys, I think we need to go help this kid now. Well the cell cat would open the fucking door. 
Hmm. Dragon Boy, open the door. I open the door. I'm sorry if I'm not... I'm very tired today. Can I do just a basic insight check on the children themselves? Then, like, just to see if there's anything weird about them. Uh... You mean, like, weirder than meeting two abandoned children in the street? Yeah. I mean, you never, you, never, you never know. You never know. Look, mate, that's just D&D. D. <laughs> they, they, they can't remember when they ate or when, when dinner was, and at the same time, they're starving, so you never know. Have you... Okay, I'll answer your inquiry this way. Have you never sat down and enjoyed a meal and then a few hours later been hungry and not recalled what you've had for supper in your life? Not not if I couldn't remember how long ago dinner was. It's a child. I think mm. I think that all of us have you know, maybe they ate Chinese food and two hours later they're still <laughs> fucking hungry. Stay I'm MHG not- man, it'll do you like that. I I can understand that. It's just, it seems very strange. I also, on your first limit, I interrupted. No, I just, I don't know why I was saying also because I couldn't really think of anything else to say. When no one's looking, I want to take a look at that shield. Is it a real shield, or is it more just like a bit of metal cut to look like a shield and painted prey? No, it is a very serviceable shield, but it has a family crest painted across the front of it. As everyone's moving in, I'm going to close these front doors because we don't want to let the monster out. Okay. Good shout, good shout. Close them up and then turn to look at everyone. Yes, sir. And fine, I will go first, even though I've already said this is a bad idea. And now you're starting to question it. God forbid I'm right. Yeah. All right. Look at these um, two doors. <clears throat> okay. A wide hall runs the width of the house with a black marble fireplace at one end and a sweeping red marble staircase at the other. Mounted upon the Matthew, wall above the, the fireplace right? is a long sword with a windmill cameo worked into the hilt. The wood-paneled walls are are ornately sculptured with images of vines, flowers, nymphs, and satyrs. Corey, what did you say to me? I said you may want to move better than... Oh. gonna move back here and what's uh what's behind door number one dragon um 50,000 gold pieces that would be nice no please open it no you fucking open it I've already said I stated this is a very bad idea we should not be doing it and we'll eat the back of the pack Yes, I said that as well, but then this fucking asshole points over to Carol's fucking persuaded me to do it. Cunt. Maybe you shouldn't be so easily persuaded then? Sounds like a you problem. I would like everyone in the party to make a perception check, please. I'm getting sick of these perception checks, mate. <laughs> oh! Motherfucker! Oh, it's Draken this time hitting the one. Uh. Dragon's like, even though I can see everything, I'm deaf. That's funny. 
Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, right. Beautiful. Full, full uh, I need to roll Bernadette. Sorry, I was about to eat some fucking fudge. Um, understandable. Fudge, fudge is very important. 20. Mm. Yeah, Bernadette is just good at sight, you know? All right. Kato's, Selkath, and Bernadette. Poor fat, so. Wah, wah, wah. I think Brock him. Yeah, yeah, but like you, you got a decent roll. Yeah, the second roll, Thetsu, I believe, was Bernadette. Yep. Yeah. Got a 20. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. So Kados, Selkath, Thetsu. As your gaze moves across the fine and intricate woodwork, you find. Almost imperceptibly woven into the pattern, images of men, women, and children starving to death from famine. And this is where tonight's session will end. No. No. Yeah, something's adding up here. Something's adding up here. Yep. Uh, tough shit, we're not finding out till next time. <laughs> something's adding up there. <laughs> first off, they're hungry, then there's like little pictures of people starving to death. Nah, that's questionable. That was quick. <laughs> Damn.